Hi there Wargamers, Dan, Deathbringer Kane here, uh, bringing you another X-Wing unboxing. This time it's the Star Viper for the Scum and Villainy faction. Um, quite an interesting model. Um, at first, when I first saw this, I'm, if you picture one, to um, too thrilled about it, but then I saw, saw it actually in person, so I actually liked it a lot more than I anticipated. So guys, let's get it out of the packaging and get on with a closer look of it. Da -da -da. So what we get, we've got the some card components as per usual. So let's have a look at what we're all really want to look at straight away. So let's get this model out and get it for a close inspection. We've all seen the 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 base, it, the base and the uh, little widgets in hundred times before. So it's like a, a model. This model is quite, really, quite dinky. Now, paint jobs not overly great uh, on this one, I don't think. Um, namely, these these black patches here. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it it just doesn't look, don't look right to me to be honest so I think I might well um, try and give this one a repaint um, myself and um, see what I can come up with but it's a really impressive and funky looking model it's a it's really out there as, as Starship design goes I mean cause it doesn't really, it doesn't have to conform to any, um, <coughs> any 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 proper sense really does it it's a really nice model though nice model paint job around the black these black areas not not so much, but the rest of it's quite nice, paint job wise. And really, really nice. Okay, guys, let's have a look at the car components. <clears throat> well, then. So what we got? So we've got a boost action reminder, an iron token reminder, which again, as I said before, it's still not up, doesn't account for the large ships. We've got some modifications, and we've got uh, a new rules. Um, God, Segnor's loop, which is basically a, a different kind of flip turn. So you use the gentle turn instead of the straightforward turn, which is really really quite um, interesting. Uh, someone used it against against me for the first time in the tournament. It really was quite an interesting move. It really surprised me. <clears throat> anyway, so what we got? We've got a Black Sun Enforcer. Some real nice artwork there. Um, so it's got quite high agility and hull, but only one shield, so not great, but that's quite quite powerful lasers of a free attack of three. Clocking in at 25 points for a um, pilot score one guy. Is it worth it? Mm, a bit expensive. Again, we've got a, another um, generic pilot. Uh, he's got a pilot score three and he's 27 points. He's allowed to miss some, some torpedoes. So then we're on, we're on to the name pilots. And uh, we've got one called Gurry. Again, some nice um, artwork there of him fleeing away from a Star Destroyer. And so let's look at this. At the start of the combat phase, if you're at range one of an enemy ship, you may assign one focus token to your ship. That's really quite nice. For an extra uh, three points from the um, next highest um, generic pilot, that's really quite useful, I'd think. Um, then we've got Prince Zizo. Again, some really lovely artwork there. Um, and that's a look. One def when defending, a friendly ship at range one may suffer one uncancelled hit or crit result instead of you. That's that's quite nice. So if you've got like a, a vehicle you can tank with it nearby, that'd be quite useful. So I didn't do it before, but again we've we've seen this before. So we've got um, well that's a that's a, that's an excessive amount of iron tokens. Don't think you'd you'll ever need that. And we've got a double F um, <laughs> tight lock. <laughs> We're all the way up to F in the doubles. So again, we've got the two um, fli uh, flips. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm. Uh, pilot uh, cards for the for the actual base, and we've got some uh, nice artwork on the um, 
Maneuver dial, little scum logo, and I look at that maneuver dial, it's got what to go those two different um directional um side well, I've forgotten the name of it, um the loop turn, as I'm not I'm not I think we're gonna call it now. A lot of quite a few greens on there. So let's have a look at the what you get in the cards, the uh, upgrade card. So we've got an elite one here, we've got bodyguard. At the start of the combat phase, you may spend a focus token to choose a friendly ship at range 1 with higher pilot skill than you. Increase the agility value by 1 until the end of the round. That's quite nice if you want to keep a, um, keep another ship safe. So then we've got Calculation, that's another elite pilot talent. When attacking, you may spend a focus token to change one of your focus results to a critical. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'd rather change all my all my focus to um to hit them than have a critical. To be honest, but that's me. Auto thrusters. Obviously, it's a modification. So when defending, if you are beyond range two or outside the attacker's firing arc, you may change one of your blank results to a, an evade result. Uh, you can equip this card only if you have the boost action. I could even. So I, I think it's quite nice actually. If you, but then again, it's, it's situational. But so again, it's only two points, and then we've got some more some hull upgrades we've seen that before. We've got a title here, Virago. Uh, it's, again, it's the as you'd think, it's the Star Viper only. And you upload gets against the sensor and the illicit upgrades, and you can't equip it for your parts because it's free or lower. So what's the point? Didn't allows you other upgrades. So we've got Action Corrector. This is a real nice one, I think. It's um, it's, it's the sensors. When attacking, you may cancel all your dice results and then add two hits to your roll. I like, I really like that. So if you ever got a naff roll, just say I want two hits. Then we've got Iron Torpedoes. We've seen them before. Inertial Dampeners. I think we've seen them as before, but uh, oh, is it? No, we haven't. I think I've just seen the picture before. Uh, when you reveal your dial, you may discard this card to instead perform the a white stop maneuver. Then receive a stress token. That's really nice. So if you decide it's one, don't want to go anywhere for a turn. And then we have got another auto for us that we've just seen. So guys, that was a Star Viper. Let's have a quick another look, quick look at it. It's a really interesting model. Uh, really different. Something that that we like to see. Um, so what do you think of this, this model guys, uh, what do you think of this review, uh, drop a comment below, if you like the video please hit the like button, it uh, really helps me out, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe. Ok guys, I'll be back later with some more X-Men reviews, thanks for watching, and uh, keep, keep safe out there, alright, bye!